Sharon Carter is the power broker. I don't trust that bitch. And she said that she got a whole What is going on, people? It is I, Meds. Welcome to another episode of The Mask. We are here to talk about Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode 4. Let's get straight into it. I really enjoyed this episode. I'm just going to say that off the bat. I really enjoyed this episode. So, just like a quick rundown of what happened in the whole episode itself. It picks up with um, the flag smashes being labelled as terrorists. Io shows up, talks to Bucky, you know, tells him that I'm coming for Zemo. Based off the Wakandan spirit and all of that, Zemo has to pay for his crimes and we are going to come and collect him. And um, only because of like their relationship, you find out that she's actually somebody who played a big role in helping Bucky get over his Winter Soldier like programming. I'm going to give you eight hours. After eight hours, I am coming to collect Zemo's soul. Because he's going to pay for all of this crime against King Tashaka. They basically go to the same um, hostile where the lady that Carly knew died. They talk to a few people. They're not able to get any information. Zemo, being crafty as always, you know, he's got like some freaking candy on him. Um, Turkish delights. He basically goes, he gives like the Turkish delights like to the kids who live there, and he basically asks them for the information about um, if the kids know where this lady's being buried or where her funeral is being held. So the kids know. One little girl in particular comes up to him, takes the sweets, which was kind of a no, a red flag. Never take sweets from a stranger kid. Come on. Then your, then your parents teach you better. What Zemo is trying to do, especially with his talks with Sam, is very interesting. Because he is of the mind that anyone that wishes to be a superhero or to be superpowered is destined to become a tyrant. Because you only crave to be more than man when you wish to control man. And... It's a very interesting um, like take on superheroes, especially for those superheroes that wanted to become superheroes. Not the people that received their powers accidentally, but those who sought to become superhuman. Um, but that's like his whole path. He's like anyone that wishes to become more than man is destined to try and control and rule man. And... Sam is obviously on the side of look at Cap. He didn't want to do that. And Zemo is like Cap or Steve Rogers is like the only exception to that rule. There hasn't been another one like him. And so he tells them where the funeral is being held. They're going towards the funeral. And um, Captain America 2.0 and Battlestar basically meet up with him and say listen we're gonna take her down sam asks let him go in there first talk to her see if she can calm her down or at least take her in without causing any incident and if he can't do it then we can go like with the whole brute force tactic mantle of captain america is weighing down on him and you can see it. you can see like he's literally being worn down by the whole burden of trying to be the symbol of a whole nation so anyway they go to the funeral and there sam has a conversation with carly and literally they're just having like a real honest talk and them having that conversation he's like i know where you're coming from and i I'm on your side in what you're trying to do. He just doesn't agree with the methods of what she's trying to do. And even throughout the conversation, some of the answers, she responds exactly the same way in which Zemo was talking about. But she's kind of like taken back even by how it came out when she said it. Like, no, that's not what I mean. And you tricked me. But Sam's just like, I didn't trick you. I asked you a simple question. And how you have responded you can see how you can be perceived as the very thing that you're trying to fight against. 
But um, as they're having that conversation, then freaking um, Captain America like is being impatient. He he goes in, guns blazing, messes it all up. They have like they have like their little scuffle. Zemo finds Carly, shoots her, and she happens to drop like the remaining vials of like the new super soldier serum that she has. And he goes on to destroy all of the canisters. But then right before he's about to destroy like the last one, Captain America comes in, knocks him out with his shield. He picks up like the like the last vial of the super soldier serum. Carly escapes with her people. Then when they get back to the hotel, Dora Malage, Dora Malage are there waiting, waiting for him, saying, Listen, we've come for Zemo, your eight hours are up. The new Cap and Battlestar try to say, Listen, we're taking Zemo, bruh. I even having a bar of that. And she puts work in. Listen, they beat the brakes off everybody in that room. Except for Zemo. Zemo just watched the whole thing just like unfold. And he just slid out, but he slid out. He was like, oh, oh, yeah, you lot are fighting? All right, cool. I'm going to dip real quick. And, um, yo, Ayo and Bucky, they have, like, their little fight. Listen, man, she just <laughs> pressure-pointed that man's whole whole arm straight off. The vibranium arm shot off and just dropped to the ground, man. And she just looked at him and said, we done. And one other, because one other, because Dora Malaje is mashing up Cap. Basically takes his shield off him, even does like the the cheeky foot stomp to bring the shield back, and she catches it. And she was literally gonna walk off with his whole thing, but then Ayo just said, "Listen, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave him with the shield." Disrespect. Whole soul was crushed. He, I looked at his face. This man was done out there, man. He's done. Anyway, so Zemo's in the wind. He's escaped. Um. Basically, Carly contacts Sam's sister and tells her that she wants to meet with Sam one-on-one, -on -one, private. So, they do that. They meet up, but Sam comes with Bucky. But then you find out that it's actually um, not really a trap, but just a means to separate Captain America from Sam. So, her people go to fight and kill Cap while... She, Carly's meant to be here as a distraction for Sam. She doesn't really want to kill him in it because Sam isn't the problem. Captain America and what he symbolizes is. So they go towards him and then it's just straight madness. When I say madness, it is madness. So Sam's trying to race back to Cap to get to him in time. But then you find out that he's taking the serum, so he's super strong as well now. So they're fighting. Um, Battlestar gets captured and they're separated. He's now trying to get, trying to find where Battlestar is, trying to rescue him. Sam and um, Bucky arrive in time. They're there now. They're now going through like the whole building. Battlestar is able to get himself free, and then when they're all fighting, literally they're holding Cap and they're about to kill him. So Carl is running at, at him like with a knife, ready to stab him. But then Battlestar comes, gets in the way. Carly just caves in his whole shit. Hit man dead in the chest, send him flying, and then he hits the pillar. He done out here. Battlestar dead. R.I.P. Token. Lamar gone. So yeah, so Lamar's dead on the scene. Pfft, that's kind of John's breaking point, isn't it? Like he was already on the edge, but then after that, he gone. Snaps out. He then chases one of Carly's associates, and listen. He basically captures him or like he catches up to him in like the town square. Yo, he starts fucking this rebounding the shield off his face. <laughs> Bruh, Cap don't care. He literally just takes that shield. Just yeah, straight into man. I think three times. Yeah, I think like he hit him. I literally thought he was just gonna like fucking go one time and decapitate him. But you know, this is um this is Marvel and Disney, so they can't go too crazy. But as that's happening, literally everyone around has taken out like their camera phones at this point. And they're just recording this. So you just see Captain America murder a man in broad daylight. And when they zoom out and they show him, 
you see him just put on the shield like the bottom of the shield is just bloody and i'm like raw okay <laughs> he did that shit he did that john walker is the u.s agent and again he's like the darker side of captain america he is basically what tommy lee jones wanted when he said that i'd rather take a good soldier over a good man steve was a good man john is a good soldier um zemo again man zemo's growing on me he's growing on me every episode he keeps on just getting better and better and to be honest with you i feel like he is the he is like the next he's like the next big villain but you understand why he believes what he believes and it actually makes sense in a way so his ideology is sound i can't even lie i'll give it 8.5 out, out of 10 one, one and nine is done like enough to kind of set the pieces because we've got the last two episodes left so i feel like this is like a good turning point to see how the two final episodes are gonna play out and side note i think that fucking sharon carter is the power broker i don't trust that bitch when she said that she's got a whole satellite i said how the fuck you got a satellite but if for some reason you're on the run <laughs> nah nah she she the power broker i'm saying this now if she ain't the power broker then you know who the power broker is but i'm saying it's her though anyway <laughs> that's it tune in next time please 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 like comment subscribe share thank you until next time guys later